We're going to go ahead and check to see if your console is active or not for softwares. So what we're going to do is go on to the computer. We're going to go to the Keyline website, which is www.keyline-usa.com. We're going to highlight on electronic key cutting machines and then go over to software subscriptions and press that. And it changes to the next page. And we're going to go ahead and put the console serial number in on this page here. And then press enter. You'll get a, information saying that in this case, the software subscription is still active on the machine. Uh, with this, uh, in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you're going to go ahead and see the next steps that you have to take in order to uh, continue on with uh, updating your machine. If your software subscription is inactive, uh, these, this information for the next steps will be a little bit different, a little bit longer, uh, but it will walk you through all of the steps. Okay, the first thing to do, we want to go ahead and download the KCT app. So we're going to go ahead and click this link. The actual app will uh, start downloading in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. And once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and click on the file. Okay, we're going to go ahead and double-click the file. Run it. Press run, press OK for English, create a desktop shortcut, and then do the installation. OK, we're going to go ahead and launch it. And here's where you want to press register. And we want to go ahead and put your name in. Email address. Create a password. Confirm the password. Select your country. Company name. Telephone and fax are optional. Qualification, choose what you are. And then you have the categories that you would be interested in. And then authorized personal data and if you want to receive the newsletter. And then press the next button here. Then we're going to check, uh, do you have a keyline duplicating machine? If you have any other machines, any non-duplicating machines. Uh, and then go ahead and press the save button. Now, the, uh, this information is being brought over to the server and then you'll receive a confirmation email. And once you get the confirmation email, you need to go ahead and confirm the email. If you do not get a conf confirmation email, go ahead and check in your junk email and or the, uh, the spam 
If it's not there, then go ahead and give us a call and we can go ahead and take a look and find out why it uh, didn't happen. So our email is up. You have a link that you're going to go ahead and select. And we'll go ahead and press enter. At this point, you can go ahead and, and put in your email to confirm. And then the password. And press login. We got into the website, so we are registered as a user. Okay, you'll notice on the screen that it says to register your mechanical machine. You do not have to register your machine. It's an electronic machine. When you do the update, that's when your machine gets registered. So you're done with the website at this point, so you can close it and then continue on with the update. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to update uh, using an ethernet cable. So you wanna go ahead and plug the ethernet cable into the side of the machine, like so. And to go through, we wanna go ahead and uh, verify that your connection is there. So we wanna go into setup, and then utility, and then network status. You'll see right now, Everything is unknown, so that would indicate that the, your network hasn't given out anything. So we want to press force reload, and that should automatically go ahead and give you all the information that you need from the network. It'll also show up the actual console serial number here as well. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and press back twice. Then we want to go under diagnosis. And then we want to go under network tests. First thing we're going to do is check to make sure it's connected to your local network. And that's detected. And then we want to check the internet. And that's accessible. So we're in good shape there. At that point, we want to press back and back, go into updates, and go on to key online. Do we want to register? We're going to press yes. Then we're going to put in the email. The, the machine automatically defaults to uppercase, so you have to press the alt to go to lowercase. Alt to get to a period, and then back to alt again. go to the password. This function has a nice feature where you can press this I on the right hand side and it'll show you what you're typing in. And then you press next. It says do you want to update the software? You go ahead and press yes. Now it's going to go through, check your internet connection, and then go through and start downloading the software. All right, the update has downloaded. We can go ahead and press yes to updating the software. And it'll go through and extract the update and download it to the machine. Machine will go ahead and go through a reboot after the update. OK, 
Okay, the machine is now rebooting. And after the reboot, you'll go through the standard uh, boot up procedure. And then the machine will tell you that the update has been done. Okay, the update is complete, and your subscription is good until May of 2021. Press OK, and log into the machine as normal.